A very happy Christmas for all Altrincham fans today with a fantastic 5-0 victory over Staley Bridge Celtic in front of a bumper crowd of almost 1,200 here at the J. Davidson Stadium. We've got assistant manager Neil Tolson. Neil, um, from the very word go today, pretty well everything has gone for us. Great performance from 1-11. to 11. Yeah, it was. It was a uh, great team effort. Uh, lads worked hard, passed the ball around, which we know we're capable of doing. And uh, I think uh, I think the difference between today and the last couple of weeks is we took our chances when when they fell, um, and obviously goals uh, changed games. So good result, good performance. Um, you know, gets us back in there. We started the game on the front foot. A good bright start in the first few minutes. Staley Bridge's cause hasn't been helped by Craig Ellison, who's not uh, taken a couple of crosses, and then he's made a real howler for the first goal, and that's uh, given them a hill to climb. Uh, for them, uh, but great finish by Jake Moult. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know he had he had it all to do. Um, you know, for, for, you know, we we've been in there where some of our players have made mistakes. It, it happens. It's part and parcel of football. Um, he'll learn from it. But as you say, uh, it was a great first touch from Jake. Uh, got it out of his feet and knew exactly what he was going to do. And it, it's actually funny because it's one of the things that we've been speaking about to Jake. Um, we we feel as oh, we need to get him further up the pitch. We need him to you know to chip in with goals because he's definitely got that in his locker. And it was it was. Uh, Great, great start after seven minutes. Uh, great finish from Jake, and you know it gave us uh, a little bit of momentum going forward again. It was a great first touch from uh, Jake, but not a great first touch from Kyle Perry on the second goal because he's actually got it a little bit wrong. But fair play, he's recovered well and a nice finish. Yep, uh, great finish. Uh, took it, uh, took it really well. Again, another thing. That's another thing. What we mentioned to Kyle because he's got he's got bags and bags of ability, and uh, I try and put myself in his position because I was a big six foot centre forward and. We sometimes don't use him right. You know, we're a football inside and Kyle's a football in player. That's what we bought him in for. Um, great strike, great goal, and I'm chuffed for the big man getting himself a goal. Yeah, he's had a few starts uh, recently. That's two goals in recent games. Scored at Harrogate. Had a goal disallowed at uh, Gloucester City um, in the in the away game. Scored again today. So, and he's, he's looking a bit fitter. It, yeah, he, he will do. You know, games games make you fitter. They get make you sharper. I think that's more important for a centre forward. And uh, if if the big man keeps playing like that, he, he's on. You, you can't play against him. You can't mark him because he's that strong. Uh, and he helps. He helps Wally when Wally's up there. He helps Reevesy. You know, James Laurie when he's up there. He's, uh, he's a massive plus for this football club. You've gone with uh, Reeves and Perry up front uh, today and Damien scored his first goal in a while and I thought he looked quite sharp in the first half and nice to see him on the score sheet. Oh, I'm, I'm made up for Reeves. He has, we've been here now for three years and he's a great lad. Um, he's a centre forward again. We seem to be talking about nothing but centre forwards now. Um, you do as a forward, you do get yourself down when you don't, you know, when you don't score. Um, but he's kept plugging away. I And I would, I will, and I, you know, I'll say it publicly. His work rate has been better this year than it has last year. He's, uh, I think, his all-round game is better. It's just that the the opportunities haven't been going in when he's been getting them. But come the end of the season, Reeves will be 25 plus. I assure you that now. That's what he brings to the football club, and that's what Damien does best: is score goals. And he'll he'll go on a run that will will Damien. And that third goal really important because two 0 is always a tricky score line, and three 0 at half time gave us a right a good cushion. It does, yeah, and I, it's one of those those scores score lines that you you sort of, although although you're winning, you sort of you're not quite you know you feel though like you've got a little bit of a cushion. But one of the things what the manager said after the game is um, we didn't let up, we kept going, we didn't we didn't give in, and um, I think that's one of the one of the things that we need to get into our game, um, killing teams off. Which we have done today, um, as you say, two nil, funny score line. We got the third, and uh, we didn't sit back. We went and tried to get the fourth, fifth, and we was even looking for the sixth. To be fair, very difficult to uh, pick a man of the match. I understand that Adam Griffin was the official sponsors man of the match, but I thought right the way through the team there were some excellent performances. Oh well, yeah, Griff Griff's come in now. He's uh, you know he, his first game was the the Southport game. Um, did really well. He's, he's going to be a massive plus to us. Um, he, he, he's up and down the left hand side all day. You know, he, he helps Nicky. Um, he put a bit of pressure on. Obviously, Matt Doherty and Matt Doherty. He's got a massive part still to play for us. So we've got good com competition out there. Um, I thought I don't like singling players out. But I thought I thought Bruno was was superb in the middle of the park. Um, and I think you're spot on. Even Stewie right at the end pulled off a great save. You know, to uh, to keep the clean sheet. 
In terms of the pick of the goals, for me, it was the fourth goal. Great bit of play by uh, Jake Moulton, who's been on his game right from the word go. And a lovely finish there from Scott Leather. Yeah, he was. Scott's now telling us he's a centre forward. You know what? Uh, he's a bit of a character in the dressing room. He says if, if we put him up there, he'll score more. But uh, <laughs> no, that's his. Uh, I'm chuffed for Scott. Scott, again, another one. Lovely lad. Uh, works hard. He's had to come in and uh, you know do a job for us today at right back. And he's another one that could have run close for man of the match. Simon Richmond scored it, uh, scored the fifth goal. A nice strike as well, and again his energy was fantastic right from the word go. It, well, that's what that's what Simon brings to us. His uh, his fitness levels are beyond anything I've ever seen. That not just at this level, professional level. The last fifteen twenty minutes, Simon seems to get stronger. Um, and again, another one chuff for him. He's uh, he's worked hard, and uh, you know you will get to see his name in the paper tomorrow. So well done to him. First start for new signing Tom Marshall. Uh, I think he got the wrong side of his man perhaps once in the first half, but I thought he had a very, very uh, steady game and looks a really good, big, strong defender and also a big talker. Massive talk, and that, that's one of the things that uh, myself and the gaffer have been talking about after the game. Um, you can hear him from the first minute to the last minute. And, you know, we are quite quite a quiet side. We, we, we know that, and um, he's a leader, he's a winner and another one who's going to be a massive plus for, for Altrincham Football Club. He, he never shuts up. He's the same in the dressing room, never shuts up, he wants to win. And it, that, that gives that gives the players around you a little bit of confidence, a little bit more, I'm not saying belief, because I, I, I never think that you know we've had an issue with the belief. But he's a leader and you can rely on what, he, you know, what he's saying to you. And he's, again, he'll be a great asset for us. And if Tom says it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Well, uh, we'll have to go with that one, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> so, 5-0 against Staley Bridge. Great result, great performance, and they've been well beaten today. But I'm sure it's going to be a, a, a completely different game at the ball fold on New Year's Day. Well, of course, I, mean, I, I think I think the, the score line, although I think it was uh, thoroughly deserved, is because of how well we played. You know, uh, sometimes you see a 5 and then you think, Ooh. but they're, they're the good side. And if we don't go there with the same, the same work rate, the same commitment and the same desire... Um, that I'm not saying it would be reverse five nil to them, but you know we could be sat, find ourselves in a in a difficult difficult game. So if we prepare right, go right, attitude, work right, I think we should be fine. Before that, we got the long trip up to the longest cul-de-sac in the world to play Barrow on Saturday. They've had a good win in a derby against uh, Working Workington today, so I think they're off the bottom, which is good news for them. But I think we're the only team in the top eight who've won today, so it's been a great uh, day for us in terms of the other results as well. I'd, I'd, I'd be perfectly honest with you. I've not looked at any results yet. Um, you know, we, we need to concentrate on us. If we if we're relying on other teams slipping up, then I think it's you know it's it's not it's not in our hands. Then where we'll focus on on the uh, on the 17, 18 players that we've got. We'll make sure that they're right. We'll work hard, concentrate on us, and uh, we'll get to uh, Barrow fully confident and get another three points. So really pleased then uh, with the performance, Neil. And have you any message for the Altrium supporters going into the new year? Yeah, that's, uh, we, you know, on behalf of myself and the gaffer and all the players, we'd like to uh, wish all the supporters, everyone associated with the football club, uh, happy Christmas for yesterday. Um, spend some good quality time with your family and look forward to the new year. Thanks very much. That's Neil Tolson, delighted with the 5-0 victory over Staley Bridge Celtic. Our next action is on Saturday when we travel up to uh, Holker Street to take on Barrow with a 3pm kickoff in the Skrill North.